First, the craze over vitamins. Many of us take them every day, hoping they'll make us healthier and possibly even help prevent disease. But are these pills with so much promise more hype than help? A growing number of studies is surprising a lot of people. Do you want to eat anything for breakfast today or are you just going to have your drink? Okay. Mary Jo and John oh, Genowine are a busy, health-conscious no, couple who believe in taking vitamins. Lots of vitamins. Mary Jo takes 14 vitamins a day. John, 8 to 10, a true vitamin power couple. I take CLA, I take the um, omega 3, 6, and 9, MSN and conjointant. Um, I take chromium picolinate. Age of skin formula. I just <laughs> want to stay looking young. Multi minerals, uh, one a day's joint formulas. They say their overall health and energy are better when they take vitamins. Mary Jo says she really noticed it when she had to stop taking them before recent back surgery. I felt a big difference on the way my skin behaved, how I felt internally, externally, and I noticed a huge difference for myself. Mary Jo and John are far from alone. Many of us load up on lots of vitamins, minerals, and supplements every day, hoping to fend off disease and look younger. The USDA says half of all Americans report using some vitamins, spending an estimated $20 billion a year. We've all heard the claims, vitamins A, C, and E, the antioxidants, help fight cancer. Fish oil helps to prevent heart disease. Ginkgo biloba for memory, echinacea, the common cold, glucosamine and chondroitin, arthritis and joint pain, and so many more. Dr. James Orlowski is chief of pediatrics at University Community Hospital in Tampa. He's participating in the Physician's Health Study, one of the most well-respected clinical trials in the country on the benefits of vitamins. They were looking specifically as whether they could prevent heart disease, whether they could prevent strokes, whether they could prevent cancers, um, whether they would contribute to generalized health, prostate health, uh, arthritis, you know, the whole gamut of diseases. For the past 25 years, Orlowski, along with 25,000 other physicians in the U.S., took either vitamins or placebos to compare the effects. As the study comes to a close, brace yourself for the conclusion. They looked at A, they looked at the Bs, they looked at C, they looked at D, they looked at E, they looked at K, they looked at selenium, they looked at zinc. Not a single one of these vitamins or minerals in any way prevented any disease any differently than placebo or sugar pills. Not exactly what anyone expected. Surprised the doctors because most of us were very interested in trying to show that at least some vitamins would be beneficial since so many ta people take vitamins every day, but not a single one. That's a hard sell here at Tampa's Village Health Mart where loyal customers are dedicated to their daily dose of vitamins. You feel healthier. I haven't been sick in years now. You know, I haven't even had a cold. I just feel like your body needs a lot of nutrients and sometimes you're not eating whole foods that are giving you those, so it's good to supplement with something. The Digest Gold is the most popular. Would you like to try a small one? John small Stark is Village started. Health Mart's vitamin expert. Customers turn to him for advice on which vitamins help everything from digestion to energy. The proof is in the results, right, and how it makes you feel. They do work, especially when you talk to the people who benefit. I mean, I have hundreds of people who come through the store every week. We're buying a lot of vitamins. Tampa plastic surgeon Dr. Dan Greenwald isn't ready to discount all vitamins just yet. Do vitamins work? Sure, vitamins play a critical role in maintaining good health. He's written papers on the targeted use of specific vitamins and their benefits. If we look at vitamin A, vitamin A has been very important for the treatment of aging skin. It's very important for the treatment of complex wounds in people who have certain kinds of medical difficulties, people who are steroid dependent, people who are asthmatics or have arthritis. Even so, Dr. Greenwald says for most of us... Do you take vitamins? I don't. I think most people do not need vitamins. In this country, eating a well-balanced diet. So how do we explain the huge disparity between the scientific data and the results so many vitamin users insist they feel? Dr. Orlowski attributes it 
to the placebo effect. If you believe that something is going to help you or benefit you, it's highly likely that your brain's going to trick you into believing it is helping or benefiting you. For those of us who still want to believe in the power of vitamins, Dr. Olowski says there's really no harm. I'm going to believe. <laughs> I'm going to keep believing. <laughs> Go right ahead and believe. <laughs> but the data is very, very powerful. I mean, it's, it's irrefutable now in terms of the, the number of quality studies that have been done that have just shown that we're wasting our money on most of this stuff. Most of us just pee out all the vitamins that we take in. Scientific studies or not, folks like Mary Jo and John say it's hard to argue with results. I've had a life of not, not taking any vitamins, and I definitely feel a difference with taking them now. So I see and feel the results. Even the doctors say, if it's working for you, why change? Cheers. Cheers good to help. Good help. <laughs> Studies have shown some vitamins can be harmful if taken in very large doses. For example, too much vitamin A and E can be toxic and cause liver damage. Too much C can cause kidney stones, and some studies have indicated too much K and D can also be harmful. But again, the vitamins would have to be taken in very large quantities to cause problems, so it's important to follow recommended guidelines.